William Kentridge, for me, is the ultimate artist. He's someone who makes work that encompasses beauty, politics, the history of South Africa, um, and utilizes every possible aspect available to him. He's incredible. There's a quote by um, a writer and poet, Fred Moten. He says, you know, people have to understand that this shit is killing them too. And I, I, my gut feeling has always been that Kentridge understands that. The overt conversation with racism and especially anti-black racism is relevant all across the world. It's a global problem, but very few people address it as part of the bigger picture of life. And I think he does that. I, you know, I, I think that he is probably the most lyrical artist I know in the sense that, like a poet, he utilizes repetition, he's willing to um, explore juxtaposition in the relationship of language to images, and you see it all. You, you see how it is that these things are coming together to create the experience. His use of text and pages brings the materiality of books into the art world. And suddenly you see them as objects, as beautiful objects. Here the text is opened up by the image, the image complicated by the text. The, the silence written across the bottom both speaks to you as a, a viewer, but also informs how the women are sitting. The use of the word adaptability, compliance, silence, the three words are themselves a conversation, but then once you look up at the women sitting in the chair, the sitting itself becomes a kind of adaptability, a conforming, a compliance and leads to the silence. I mean, I, because I think the intent is towards experience rather than definition. That, to me, is what is palpable in all of his work. You get not resolution, you get the struggle towards sense-making. On some level, I believe I'm always looking for work that speaks to how I'm experiencing my life. When I encounter work that seems to address our contemporary issues, I, I, I pause. And I think that's what's drawn me to his work. I see the recognition of isolation, I see the recognition of aloneness, what it means to be abandoned by the state, what it means to be targeted by the state. Those things come through. I think his work is incredibly important for anybody who is interested in, in less literal ways of communicating injustice. His commitment to human life and equality comes through in both the joy of the work and who he chooses to represent in the work. <laughs>